Hello everybody and welcome to the new playthrough of Planet Zoo. Well, I say playthrough. In this series, we are going to be messing around and making a very detailed exhibit every episode. So this episode, our main focus is going to be on the beautiful, yet dangerous... Da, 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 if I can find him. Oh. Saltwater Crocodile. So right now, as you can see, we have four available. So that's what we're going to end up using. Are all four of these. So we need a huge exhibit for... Okay. Adopt, adopt, adopt. Adopt. Okay, so we got these four waiting in the Trade Center. We got saltwater crocodiles. And this is the zoo so far. I kind of started showing the build process and then it got really tedious and this would have taken an episode in its own. So I just wanted to get straight into the exhibits. But as you can see, we have our beautiful little staff area all decked out with all the staff's needs and then Oh, your vets. And then we have the beautiful little hangout area for the people. We have food, which is pizza, milkshakes, and then we got some drinks, which is like milkshakes, sodas, and juice. And this is pizza and ice cream. Oh, yo, how do I hire staff for this thing? Oh, I have staff. It just wasn't there. Okay. Anyways. The American Alligator exhibit, if you want to look, or the Saltwater Crocodile exhibit, my bad, will be over here. Now, if you don't know where Saltwater Crocodiles are from, they originate from North Australia, South, what's that called? India, South India, South China, and within the regions of New Zealand and all the islands around that area. So we're going for more of a Northy Australia look, i.e. lots and lots of sand and dirt. So. Here's all the stuff that they like, so we'll keep that in mind. But for now, we're just going to focus on barriers. And with our barriers, I want it to be a one-way glass right up against this. Okay, that's probably way too long. Let's do 10 meters. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna go with a straight piece on this one. And then continue on with the curved. Another straight piece. Probably another straight piece. Straight, straight, straight. Then you got these curved sections. Which curved, curved, curved glass is always lovely. Now let's just hurry up and get all this all the way around. Oh yes. This is just a calming build episode, for any of you guys wondering. All these are going to be calming build episodes, so if you don't like those, then you may look at other videos on the channel. Which, this will be the first episode on the channel, so there may not be a whole selection. Ah, uh, just straight it in there, boom. Hard, hard right angle right there, but ah, uh, who cares. 
Okay, so this stat's fucking huge. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have like a big ass river right through the middle of it. Okay. So, terrain. They love, if I'm not mistaken, the sandy areas. Tropical. Okay. I was trying to remember what... I was trying to remember what I was going to do, but I done diddly forgot. Okay, well... I guess we're good. We'll just keep him on... some coarse sand. Let's paint every square inch of this place yellow sand. We may split this off in half, like in the middle of the river, cut it off in half, and have something else share the other half of this exhibit. Unless we get like a ton more crocodiles, which we may do that. Because <laughs> your boy right here may have made a little bit too big of an area for the crocodiles. Because, or, yeah, the crocodiles. Because, as you can see, <laughs> this is enormous. <laughs> this is like putting six exhibits in this one area. But it's fine. We may cut it off in half. Um, what we're going to end up doing, though, is... push to about here and then we want to flatten to a surface ah. okay and then this will just be That's weird. But then again, I don't hate it. This could be like an underwater cavern or something. We got a nice little divot area over here, and then we can have these beautiful, beautiful rough waters. Oh, lovely. You see that? You see that? That, my guys, is adorably beautiful so we have an enormous water area which we could have all the way up to the glass but we're not gonna do that because that's way too high no lovely lovely water area got a ton of nice things for the lovely lovely oh shit where's that size there we go yeah, for the lovely, lovely saltwater crocodiles. Luckily, we 
we don't have to do all that. Now, we got ourselves some... That is not what I wanted. Okay, let's get some grass in here. Let's get some grass along the riverbanks. Let's get some grass over here. Let's get some grass right here. A little bit of grass right here. There's some short grass, we get that in here. We get that in here. A little short grass here. A little short grass here. A little short grass here. And then we get some like little soil here. A little bit of soil here. A little bit of soil here. Now we got some light soil here, and some light soil here. You got some light soil here, and then some light soil here. And then you just kind of spot the landscape. And then this is what makes it look natural. You got some like muddy spots, some grasses, all that good stuff. So, now. We are going to be adding in some little bushes and stuff, but not just any bushes. Oh, shit, there's probably some other stuff I should be adding first. Like, to get actually into the exhibit, we need a habitat gate. And inside that habitat gate, well, yeah, let's just get a metal habitat gate. Let's just go ahead and shoot for that. Yes, so let's go ahead and shoot there. And that's where the habitat gate. The, 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 the habitat gate will be. That is a big ass gate. Okay, so we don't need that, and we don't need that. Okay, so this is where they get in, this is where they can roam around. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and look back into this. Now, what do they need? They need big old meat. Carcasses, calcium supplements, processed meats, things like that are what we need. So, for the habitats, what we need are food and water. What we're just going to do is we're going to have just a big ass food tray, just sitting there, and we'll have another one sitting there, and we'll have another one sitting there. Beautiful. And that will be our feeding stations for these guys, because that should be enough. I would assume that's enough. If it's not, we can always add more later on, but I would believe that would be enough. Damn! I hope they like these high-ass temperatures. They should. They live in Australia. I mean, shit. If you live in Australia and you don't like hot temperatures, I think it may be time for you to leave. So we got that, and what else do you like, you little little crocodiles there? Mm, there we go. I forgot what the fuck they were called. Uh, you like mud baths, water jets, blood scent markers, large ball, prey sacks. Okay, we'll do a restraint feeder and we'll do... A sprinkler, I think, is what we're going to end up doing. So we're going to end up doing a restraint feeder, which we'll have out this way and have about there. And then we'll have... We'll have a mud bath. We can add it over here in the muddy looking area. And we got one more item. Sprinklers. 
which sprinklers will be surrounding the mud bath. Because why wouldn't they? Okay, so we got sprinklers just spritzing around. We've got a mud bath. They look beautiful. What's going on? It does not include a habitat. Literally are making a habitat right now as we speak. Last I checked, crocodiles don't climb. Okay, so now let's get these little bad boys in here by going to zoo, going to animals, and... Oh, shit. Move to here. You, you. All four of you go to this habitat. Okay, so lovely, lovely, lovely. They should be in quarantine. No, they're in the trade center. Yes, because this is where we hold big-ass crocodiles in these tiny boxes. Makes perfect sense. Oh, no, they're already running with them. Let's go ahead and jump into five times speed. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you are big as shit. Huh, you like light sand. Okay, let's go ahead and get some rock in here for you. Let's see how all this does. Okay. I'm back. Uh, apologies. Uh, okay. Where were we? Oh yeah, we were just painting... Ooh, shit. Wrong way. We were just painting rocks in many different locations. Oh, fuck. Oh, they're fighting! This, uh... They're not connecting. How? How is there overcrowding? What What do you mean? There literally cannot be overcrowding. Okay. Weird as shit that it says it's overcrowding, but, you know... Okay, so now we just need soil. Just get rid of some of this rock. And then boom, you got all that. Yeah, you got it. You guys don't like any plants at all. Adult population. Whoa, okay, 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 oh, 
What the fuck do you mean, dangerous animal? How? How did it escape? How did you escape? What the fuck? Uh, if it hits down. Okay, so, we found a bit of a flaw, but, hear me out, it can be fixed, all we gotta do is, uh, where is it, terrain, all we gotta do is, Okay, we're back. We're, we're officially back back. Okay, I had to figure some things out about how and the shit to work some of these things because, you know, it's hard attempting to think for yourself like an adult. Who would have thought? Here's what our plan is. Our plan is literally just attempt to fill the holes. So, if you can fill it, that's what you do, kids. Just pretend like it never happened. And it probably didn't. That is a motto for life. If nobody can find evidence that it happened, then it never happened. That probably has been a motto of a serial killer. Just put up in quotes on the screen right now, Ted Bundy 2020. Okay, sweet. You know, we're just kind of smooth. We just kind of smooth it. Smooth it all out. Just kind of smooth it all out. Just smooth everything out. Okay, beautiful. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to these squares, these circles, that whatever they are. We're gonna. Sometimes don't really know. But right now we're just adding dirt because that's literally the only thing I can think to add down here. This is just very lumpy. It's like a giant took a shit and shoved it behind the rocks. Okay, now, 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 now. We should. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Should. Ooh. Shit, that's a bit too high. Ah, no, it's not. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Ah, shit, power failed. Why are all the buildings going a wire? Yeah, let's go check. Turn. There we go. 
Oh, turn. There we go. You wouldn't work for a minute. You worried me. We'll build this one here, just to beat boop that one. We'll beat boop that one there. We'll beat boop that one. Hey, there we go. We got a ton of them. Oh crap, let's exit group 15. There's so many groups in this zoo. Unbox all animals. Okay, adult population. Too much. Okay. Would love to release one of you to the wild. If I have any takers, please take me up on this offer. You're going to the store in Trade Center. Let's see if you guys are any happier that he's gone. Nothing wrong. Enrichment, welfare, all these problems are fixed. Oh, I really should hire some keepers. I completely forgot about keepers. Okay, well, this episode has been hectic as everything. And I really, really would like... There we go. If you crocodiles want to lay down on the bedding, I know you're crocodiles, you probably won't. But you know, it's always there if you want it. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty thing. You guys are probably gonna be able to see my uh, my software, but I really don't care right now. How do you take a screenshot? Control Shift E. Hey, there are thumbnails. I'll get better at this, guys. First video, first time doing this. Yeah, it'll take me a little bit. Mmm, sucking up that dino shit, or gator shit. Nope. Gee. Okay. Okay, I know. Here we go. Let's do food, three food quality. We've got a male and two females. This is we have piss poor everything in this. Every three months, a mechanic will visit every six months, and every month is when a keeper will visit. So. That's how this works. Now, of course, I am going to add a little bit of nature, just so this isn't so barren, because I, I really do feel...
Okay, well I guess uh, this is what we're gonna have to do. There we go. Don't know how to place things on top of the water other than doing this. If you guys have any tips, hints, or tricks for me in the for the next episode, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated because I am not the best at this game, as you can see, and I more than likely will go through and mess around on my own little tiny thing, which I should have done before this episode, and I'm really sorry I didn't, but I thought I had everything down pat, and as you can tell, <laughs> I, am, I am very, very far from very, very far from what I expected I would be. Okay, we got that. And we'll probably have some, uh, bushels of cattails along the, the bank so they can hide away in them. Leave a comment down below if you suggest any more animals for the series. Like I said earlier in the episode, I will be more than happy to add anything you guys suggest. Even give me themes for the exhibits, and I'll go off that. This zoo is up to you guys. What we do, how we do it, and for how long we do it is all up to you guys. So, you can say, hey, next episode... We want a gorilla exhibit, and we want it to look like Tarzan. Add a little treehouse in it, everything else like that. Make it look, make it look neat. Ooh, what the fuck? Hey, got another one. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I believe that without pissing the alligators off and making this look really pretty, because it bothers me that this looks the way it does, I feel like there's not enough in it. Which, I mean, we can have, we can have more trees. I think I'll go with more, with more trees. We'll go for more, uh, more tropical trees. Filter. Continent. Asia. Let's get it, get it, get it. We'll have some banana palms dotted around. We 
we'll have some aloe vera dotted down on the green areas. Those probably don't go where they go, but at this point, we're just trying to make the area look pretty. And if we can achieve that much, then I do believe that we have accomplished something. Oh my god, what do you mean there's multiple overflowing bins? Then take them out. What the hell do you mean? Okay, if there's that many overflowing trash can, do I not have any staff to handle this? I don't think I have any staff to handle it. Well, this may all... This may all come into next episode. I may hire a few more staff right here while I can, and then we will leave it to... Yeah, I have no caretakers. And we will leave it to next episode for what we do. More than likely, it will be some type of... reptilian creature. Or it may even be some type of primate, but this is a big ass exhibit. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Would have really loved to get a quite a bit more put into it. But next time we'll have an animal that's not as picky. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, this has been Scaly. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.